Hi traders, I want to show you today my UPS trade. I think it's a great trade, but also a very good educational video. So stay tuned and let me show you what uh, I experienced today with UPS and how I believe this could help you become a better trader. So I'm about to short it here because it has a nice V-shape formation. I'm clicking the button here and I'm short 2000 shares. Now, take a look at the formation. It tried to move higher, it failed, it's coming down. It's a V-shaped formation. It's likely to come down under the lows. And again, it started with a gap down today, so it could be a gap and go. And as you can see, it just touched a new low. Now, my first idea was that I have a $1 stop loss and I will explain that real soon. And now, as you can see, it's coming down. My target is one point, which means 187.30. I shorted it 188.30, just under 188.30, as I posted in my trading room live. And as you can see now, it's touching my target just a few cents away. So theoretically, I should be taking my partial here. Now I've got 10 cents more. So, but I'm, I'm looking at this downside moment I like the momentum. I do not want to take the trade. And now you can see that the sellers just jumped up to around 30 something. And now you can see them coming up a little bit more. And now it's at 50 and 40 and 50 something. I no longer have my one point partial. Now it's a bit spready. The volume is not that great. I thought it's going to be better. But Anyway, it just bounced back up and I missed my opportunity. Now, what happens when I'm missing my opportunity? I shouldn't take a partial when I do not reach my target. Yes, I was a bit greedy. It's a first forward now, so you can see that it just popped up and I was at that point just hoping that it's going to get back to the lows. Now, the market did come down. The market was trending lower. UPS was trending lower. So I trusted it to continue coming down. And again, I was very sorry for missing my target. At that point, I'm in red. You can see I'm down like $500, $600 and it's moving higher. And But, but again, I need to trust the direction of the stock. I need to trust the trend. So I'm waiting for it to come down to a new low. The question is, whether I should take, and that's the whole idea here of this video, whether I should take my partial right here, because again, as you can see, it's touching my target. And the answer is no, I should not. I just touched my $1 uh, target and I should not take my partial. The reason for that, I survived the pullback. If you survive a pullback, you go through a pullback, you should get rewarded for that. You went through a pullback, the stock went the wrong way, it came up and then it came down again and then you expect once it breaks down under the lows, you expect another big downside move. So although my target was a one-to-one -one risk reward, and again I will discuss that in a few uh, minutes, but my target was one-to-one -one risk reward. But I was, and, and I missed my first target. And then it comes down back again to a one-to-one -one risk reward. And as you can see, it's holding here. But you do not expect it just to touch a new low. You expect it technically to move down substantially to a real new low where you may get a one-to-two risk reward. Once the stock is touching a new low, you expect a breakdown. You expect a continuation. So although I touched my target, I am not a computer. I am not an algo trader. And when I'm trading the way I do, I have an advantage over computers because I can figure out there's a good chance that although I did reach my target, it's going to continue and you know, give me a better, um, a better, a better price. And as you can see, it's now moving to a new low. Now it's getting close to the point where it reaches a one to two risk reward, which is much more than I expected. And at that point, I'm getting ready to reduce size, 1800 shares, cover 1800 shares and just leave uh, 200 up almost three grand. Now taking my partial, leaving just uh, 200 shares. So that was very, very close to a one to two risk reward and another small bounce from here. And that was enough for me, just a small pullback from the lows, just to determine the fact that I should get at that point my partial and it's much more than originally anticipated. Now let's think about this again. When you plan a trade, you plan it originally based on your stop loss point. So my original stop loss was one point. I could get into details here, but uh, let me just tell you because there will be a lot of questions. Why would it be your stop loss? The explanation is quite simple. I always predict my stop loss based on the point of no return. So I believe that if I move in here and the stock moves up there, that's 
a very high likelihood, like 80% likelihood that it will move over the highs. So normally I know most traders would put their stop over the highs. That's a mistake. You shouldn't do that. Again, you should expect the point where it will move over the highs. Now, of course, it did not, but this is the way I planned it. Now, if my risk is one point, my target is also one point. That's the way I trade. But there, there, there will be different traders. Some will say that they have a one to two risk reward, or one to four risk, one to two, or one to four, or one to one. As I trade, and you know what? It's it's a debate. Let's let's have this debate here in the comments below this video and uh, think about it. But you know, again, different ways, different methods of trading. My method is a one to one risk reward. Anyway, it reached my target. But once it reached my target, I missed my opportunity. Yes, I was looking for more. And then it pulled back up and came down again. And once it comes down again, you do not look for the same target. You look for a substantial new low, which is what a stock should do technically. And if you expect it technically to happen, then yes, you should wait and take your partial at a better planned uh, target. And, and, and when I'm getting, uh, in this case, almost a one to two risk award, this is in fact making my, 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 my winners uh, better than my losers because my losers will always be a one to one. Normally, there will be a one to one. And when I'm getting a winner, which is more than one to one and my average become better than one to one, that's the way where how my average winner will become better than my average loser. And this is what you should have as a trader. So I hope um, this video was um, educational and interesting for you. You can see my end of the day result here. I do not always finish in green. You see, I'm having a red day today. Today, I mean, this is a green trade for me, but it's just a good opportunity to say that trading is extremely hard and just, you know, be careful once you trade, especially if you're just starting out. Please, please, please start with a demo. There's plenty of links here below. One of them is to my Colmex platform, same platform I'm trading. You can start with a demo. Don't risk your hard earned money or the money you can't afford to lose. If you like this video, I will appreciate if you give me a like. It helps my channel and more people like you enjoy day trading videos. And if you do want to subscribe, there's a button right here. Just click on the button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.